everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to my guide for Scary Mage's Necromancer. This is an easy to play minion build with good DPS, clear speed, and survivability. The build cost is medium to high, depending on the market. Not the skeleton mages require the dead reckoning unique draw. So I recommend using my minion army build until you get the draw. The build also uses a flesh crafter unique armor, which might be expensive. So I've also included a transition build that uses a tabula rasa. After the showcase, I will talk about how the build works, the passives, ascendancy and pantheon, and suggested gear, including gems and links. The build uses Dead Reckoning to summon Skeleton Mages, which shoots enemies with fire, cold, or lightning projectiles. And the Flesh Crafter unique body armor allows them to completely ignore all enemies' elemental resistances. The build also uses the following support minions. Two Carnage Chieftain Spectres for Frenzy Charges, two host chieftain specters for power charges, and an animate guardian with kingmaker. I like to use two of each specter for consistent charge generation. For survivability, the build stacks armor to reduce physical damage and block chance to avoid attacks and spells. 
There's also life recovery when you block, as well as fortify from the animate's guardian. Here's the passive tree for the build. There are four key features. Two extra passive points from killing all bandits in Act 2. This achievement anointed on amulet. Seven masteries. And two sets of cluster jaws. The large jaws are minion damage with eight points. I recommend having call to the slaughter and renewal. The third notable is Rotten Claws, which isn't allocated. You will need one minion life medium jaw with Blessed Reverse, which makes your skeletons take no damage for a short time. In the small sockets, I recommend Fortress or Quickening Covenant, Surging Vitality for Life Regen, Second Skin for Extra Block Chance, and entering composure for endurance charges. In the other jewel sockets, you need Dead Reckoning here, and Ghastly Eye jewels with Life, Damage, and Cast Speed. I also recommend getting Minion Taunt. The ascendancies for the build are Mindless Aggression, Unnatural Strength, Commander of Darkness, and Mistress of Sacrifice. For the Pantheon, I like to use Lunaris and Shakari for reducing damage. Here is an overview of suggested gear, including gems and links. I will start with the main build, then go over the changes you need for the transition build. The helmet is for your support minions, so I recommend plus 3 to minion gem level, and crafting plus 1 to number of skeletons. The gems are Ray Spectre, Animate Guardian, Feeding Frenzy, and Minion Life. You can check my Animate Guardian guide for details on his equipment. For the body armor, you must use Flesh Crafter. The gems are Vow Summon Skeletons, Spell Echo, Minion Damage, Increase Critical Damage, PS, and GMP. For Bossin, swap GMP to Hypothermia for more damage. The gloves are Vixen's Entrapment to get a second curse. The gems are Assassin's Mark, Enhance, Flame Dash, and Faster Casting. The gloves auto cast Assassin's Mark when you self cast Punishment, which is socketed in a shield. For the boots, use Alberon's Warpath to get an extra skeleton. The gems are Skitterbots, Tempest Shield, Determination, and Defiance Banner. For the wand, the important mods are plus fun to minions and spells. You can also get minion damage and cast speed. It also needs an open suffix to craft trigger. This will also cast the socketed gems, which are level 1 desecrate, bone offering, and level 1 life tap. For your shield, the important mod is recover life when you block and try to get extra block chance. The gems are Molten Shell, Punishment, and Increased Duration. For the amulet, the important mods are plus one to schedule number and plus one to intelligence gems. Anoint your amulet with this attunement to get an extra skeleton inspector. Use the rings to stack life, resistances, and decks if you need it. For the belt, use a Stygian Vice or Darkness Enthrone to socket more ghastly eye jaws. For the flasks, I like to use Life, Basalt, Quicksilver, Cords, 
and Rumi's concoction for extra block chance. And for the effects, instant life recovery and removal for burning and freezing chill. A 6 link flesh crafter might be really expensive, so you can use this transition build while you save up. It will have less damage compared to the main build, but should still be enough to easily do maps. You just need to do 3 things. Get a tabula rasa with plus 2 to duration gems. Take minion mastery 8% Eli pen and use Elemental Weakness Curse instead of Punishment. Before I finish the video, I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons for your ongoing support. Thank you! Okay, I hope you enjoy this build guide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please check the pinned comments for any updates. Thanks for watching. Bye.